The Arkansas Department of Health will issue ID cards to more than 6,700 patients in February, but rejected applicant Baron Crane, who wanted his New Leaf Cannabis Company to land in Harrison or Eureka Springs, has filed a protest letter with the Arkansas Alcoholic Beverage Control Enforcement Division over the scoring. Believe me, we've been waiting a long time. We do not want any more delays, but this needs to be done right and safely. Barron says they did a statistical analysis on the scores and found that the consultants actually gave the same score in certain sections on 180 of the 200 applications. Wouldn't you want the, the safest applicants and the applicants with the best experience? This just means that they got overwhelmed and they started copying their scores down. The company hired to score the applications, Public Consulting Group, told the commission that their quality assurance was conducted and no errors in the scoring turned up. Now there could be good news for another local applicant, Dr. Dan Bell, whose Eureka Springs dispensary, Eureka Green, ranked number five because some of the top four applicants from East each zone that ranked in multiple zones can only get one license. If one of the two above us decides to move to another zone, I think there's a chance that one might, but you never know. They may perceive, uh, say, well, it's one of the sweet spots in the state and may not choose to move. So we acknowledge that. We already got a pretty good design for our grow and for our clinic uh, set up. So. Now, the cultivators have told the commission that they will have product ready in April. These applicants, though, that got approved today will have to pay fees before it becomes official. Reporting live in Branson, Crystal Blair, Ozarks First. We'll follow the story, Crystal Blair, tonight live. Thanks now to some good news on the broadcast.